Hey there, everyone. Um, earlier today, I was out for a walk with my dog and we found a beaver just out here in the woods. So I figured I would, uh, I remembered where it was. Well, I thought I remembered where it was. I'm trying to find it now. There's Rosie right there. Um, there it is. So we're gonna take it home and uh, skin it, I guess. Never skinned a beaver before, but might as well try. Good lesson. Here it is right here. All in one piece. There's Rosie investigating again. Went ahead and put it up there on the car. Boy, these things are a lot more, a lot heavier than one might expect. I probably should mention as well, I have never done anything like this before. If you're watching this as an instructional video, just don't. Uh, There's way better instructional videos. But that said, uh, we're gonna try and skin this. Okay, so I'm pretty sure first thing we're gonna wanna do is cut around the joints here. Oh, poor guy. Oh, geez. Solidly connected. Not a bad thing to be if you're a beaver, I suppose. Need to cut around the tail. Just a little bit right around here. And we're going to start our incision up to here. So now... To be honest, I'm not really sure what. I think I just start kind of peeling the skin off. Now this beaver does have a lot of fat on it. As you can, I mean, look at how much fat. I think that's fat. Has a lot of fat, which makes sense, you know, with it with it currently being a uh, November already. There, we're getting some good skin right there. I think. In all honesty. Anytime I say something like that, I'm just kind of making it up because I don't really know what this is supposed to look like at all. I just know that the less stuff on it, the better. Now, I do hope you don't watch this, Mom, because don't worry, but don't worry, I'll, I'll clean the table afterwards, I promise. Try to get it clean before Tevi's graduation party. Oh, my fingers are freezing up. It's about clean enough um, it's 35 degrees out right now so my fingers are a little cold but we still got the Sun for about another 30 minutes or so we should have sunlight and here comes Rosie interested in what we're doing hey Popper. you can see it's coming along Rosie's aching for a bite, so we'll carve her a part of this muscle here. Oh, oh, no, 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 oh. Okay, you guys didn't see that. I didn't want that to happen. The issue is I did such a botch job down here. I mean, it's just so bad. I mean, look at this whole thing. It's... Frank, frankly, let me get out of the sh so it's in the sun. Frankly, this is awful. I mean, I'm not, I'm not by any means an expert at this, but this should all be not like this, I don't think. Go inside for a second. She's trying to pretend like she wasn't, but I keep catching Rosie out here trying to eat the beaver. Look at this. You scoundrel, you scallywag, you little sc scooter dog. Yeah. Oh yeah, good dog. Good dog. Yeah, okay. Oh, it's getting cold out. All right, I brought you guys back out here after the battery charged a bit. Let's see where my battery's at. 86%, so hopefully we'll get a little bit more. It says I can record for 15 more minutes. <clears throat> so, as you can see, I did a really botched, this is, this is bad, I'll admit, it. it's very bad. But I've been cleaning, cleaning it up a little. Anyway, um, and I mean, we got juices leaking out over here. So, I got a little bit more to do over here, I think. Oh, there's blood coagulating, doing blood stuff. I mean, it's bad. That all said, I think it's time. Let me see if I can just get this off a little bit more. It's time to flip it over, okay? 
moment that I've been waiting for and dreading. Oh, look at that. Okay. So we're just gonna. Ew, there's a bug. I mean, expected because it was outside, but still, ew, there's a bug. No, I'm just kidding. But kind of. I've been trying to cut off some of these big fatty pieces as I get, as I see them, and then I put them over here for, for Rosie. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure how to proceed from here. Feeling good with this. I'm a little nervous to tackle the head still. Bone is pretty tough, so I'm not too, I guess I probably shouldn't be too worried. As we're just about to get the hide entirely off, I think. Yeah. I mean, the hide's off, you know? So. You know what, I guess, at the end of the day, it is what it is. Alright, here's the hide, and it's in pretty rough condition on this side, especially around some of the joints and stuff, and there's just a lot of stuff that I'm going to have to scrape off, but uh, we'll get to that. Just proud myself for getting it off in one piece, I guess. It uh, wasn't quite as easy a task as I imagined it would be. Here you go, puppy. There we go. 